Minnesota state leaders expected to lay out more support for our kids' schools today. Mariel Mose has been following issues inside our classrooms in L. What do we know about uh, today's announcement? Well, Governor Walls and Lieutenant Governor Flanagan are going to share their plans to keep kids in the classroom throughout the rest of the Omicron surge, as well as their plan to provide emergency staffing support. And this is so important because several of the districts that switched to online learning uh, blame the staffing shortages. We had several districts that switched to online learning in the last month, uh, including Minneapolis Public Schools, which just be, returned to the classroom this week. They blame teachers and substitute teachers for, not sorry, not blame, but rather say they're the reasons they're, they're the shortages of teachers and substitutes are the reason they had to switch to online learning. Now, state and federal governments are both pouring funding and resources into these schools to keep the doors open. And President Biden says it's necessary to keep kids in the classroom right now. We're going to try like the devil to keep schools open because we do know, study after study, as all of you know, and you've done, the great universities in your states have done them, <clears throat> is that, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, losing a semester can put a kid back a year and a half. And so there's a whole lot we can have to do, in my view, to focus. And, uh, um, and I think that uh, keeping schools open is a big part of that. Governor Walz and Lieutenant Governor Flanagan will make this announcement around 2 o'clock today at one of the local elementary schools. They'll be visiting with teachers and kids while they're there, and we will also be there and bringing the latest on air and online. Ariel Mose in a windy Minneapolis this morning. Thanks, Al.